thanks for clicking on this video. I just wanted to give a quick update on stuff that's going on, which is, it feels like not a lot, but also a lot at the same time, and I don't know how to wrap my head around that. So last week kind of sucked because I was sick most of the week with some sort of stomach virus, which apparently is going around. That means I missed a couple days of the gym that I wanted to go to. I just went to nine round yesterday, and I'm trying to be strict on my food this week, so I'm hoping that'll help. I've been dropping maybe a little bit over a half a pound each week. That doesn't seem like a lot and it doesn't feel like a lot, but what I'm looking for is just to gradually keep moving down. As long as I'm not going back up, like I'm okay with that. I just wanna make sure that this is weight that's gonna stay off and it's not gonna be that fluctuating kind of weight where, you know, a couple weeks from now, I'm gonna have five pounds back on. But since I was sick, I got to do a bunch of reading. I got caught up on all the Marvel comic books that I really wanna get caught up on. I started reading the Darth Vader part of the Star Wars comics, which are okay, it's not my favorite, but I'm gonna check some of the other Star Wars titles out and see if I'm into any of those. And I started getting caught up on the DC Rebirth stuff, which I haven't read a whole lot of. Um, right now I'm just concentrating on Batman, and then I'm gonna go for some of the others like the Green Lantern, Superman, which I'm not super excited about because I've never been a huge Superman fan. Aquaman, Titans, Justice League. Those are titles I'm excited to get into. Reading the Batman ones, I'm not into the whole Batman is engaged in getting married to Catwoman thing. I'm usually more into happy-go-lucky characters or anti-heroes, but for Batman, my Batman is definitely the, the darker, the brooding, loner Batman. I don't even want to see him with any of the Robins, with Batwoman or Batgirl or Clayface or any of that stuff. I definitely don't want to see him with Spoiler. God, I hate spoilers so much. Surprisingly, I haven't been playing Overwatch, which is what I usually do. And it's mainly because, for one, the last like three or four times I got on, it has just been losing streak after losing streak and I've lost like a hundred something SR and that's just like not fun right now. The other thing is the LFG system and the teammate rating thing was working really well for a while, but now I feel like everybody's back to, hey, it's more fun to be a dick and let's just be toxic as hell, so it's not fun for anybody. Seriously, if you're playing a game, don't be toxic, because you're ruining it for everybody, okay? Stop it. Stop. On that note, this is really random, but I bought stock in Blizzard. I have three shares of Blizzard Activision. I don't know really why I did it, but the idea that I'm a shareholder in a company I love just seems really cool. It's, just, it's a thing now, I guess, that's that's fun. But the things I've been working on a lot this week is, is more social media stuff, um, because I'm we're rethinking our process for the podcast Saturday morning cartoon boom and some of the other things we do so I've been working in that a lot I've been obviously working a lot on the Instagram trying to post regular updates for rerolling if you don't follow my Instagram already Instagram at rerolling dot life I did that backwards didn't I I post updates almost daily sometimes I miss but it's almost always daily and I'm gonna try to do some more things like some live stuff and I think that would be fun Speaking of live things, I've been doing Twitch, and Twitch has been a lot of fun. So if you happen to ever see this video and you've seen me on Twitch, thanks, because it's been a lot of fun. And I'm hoping to do more Twitch streaming in the future. That leads me to the big thing that I really want to talk about and get off my chest today. Here's the problem. I cannot talk about where I work, but I can tell you what I do. The reason I can't talk about where I work is because if I ever do something on social media or put something out there that the organization doesn't like, I'm screwed. I've known people that have had repercussions from this organization for voicing their political opinions and things like that online. And yeah, should that stuff be protected? Should you be punished for your political views? I don't think that's right, honestly, but it's a private organization, so I guess they can kind of do whatever they want, you know? Anywho, I am an instructional designer slash graphic designer by trade. Um, started in graphic design, ended up in instructional design. That's what I do, I've been doing it for five years. And when I started at this organization, there was a very clear goal on how this department and how my job would expand over time. Since those initial conversations, that kind of got thrown right out the window, for a time at least. So as of the last month or so, a situation has kind of arose, which has been stressing me out like crazy. Let me give you a little bit of background on what that is. Um, there was me and one other person in this position a couple years ago. That other person was headhunted by a rival organization and went with that job because she was paid way more. 
So then we hired another person into the role who ends up being a really close friend of mine. And a year and a half later, the same organization comes back headhunts her as well and gives her a better offer. Both of them getting into their new positions or getting paid just a little bit more, not a lot, like probably not even a thousand dollars more, but they had a clearer path to moving up in the company and potentially making a lot more. So the flaw with this position and why they left is this role is just the one role. There is nowhere for me to go unless I want to manage people. And I've done that in the past and that's the last thing I want to do because I hate it. I, I can't be the bad guy. I'm too much of the friend. I am not a leader. I am way more of like an assistant to the leader. I am a team player. And the the amount of work and projects that we have and that we have been doing on a regular basis has been crazy. So I'm having to be more selective about the projects that I can take on. On top of that, I have to create education now for new hires because we are not only going to hire one more person, we're going to hire two more people, which is great and has given me the leverage to speak with some people and say, hey, we need levels to this role. We need better compensation. We need flexible hours. That includes things like working from home or, or coming up with your own shift because we cannot compete with this other organization. So it has been a huge headache over the last few weeks because I'm not just dealing with my supervisor and manager and director and the director of HR and compensation department. That is, there's so many things that have to fall into place and so many people that have to agree on this crap just to get something in place to be more enticing that still isn't gonna compete with this other organization because their pay and compensation is based on national levels. Our compensation is based on the local level. So no matter what, they're gonna get paid more than us. Like there's no way we can do that. So we have to do other things to make it a little bit more even. That process I feel like is starting to fall on deaf ears. I feel like we're not getting anywhere. In addition to that, I feel like the department as a whole is moving in a direction that it shouldn't be moving. Where things are going more, let's check the box to say we did it instead of putting the effort and the time and the sweat in to make sure that we do things well. I'm in this job for two reasons and two reasons only. One, I have design freedom. I mean, complete freedom. I get to design whatever I want and I love that. I love having that freedom. I need to be able to design. I need to be able to create to be happy. The other organization is very much stuck in their ways using templates, using old, outdated, PowerPoint-looking things. That could be a huge problem for me because I love modern design and I love making things as appealing as possible. Number two, so trying not to give away too much about where I work, the training that I create goes to thousands and thousands of employees across the northern United States. These employees have a very, very large direct impact on the communities that they're based in. So then I can have this satisfaction and sense that I'm indirectly impacting hundreds of thousands of people with the thousands of employees that I'm helping train. But if my department is moving in a direction of checking a box instead of making sure that things are effective, that people really are learning, that they're retaining the things that they learn, that they can use those skills and abilities out there in the world to help these people, then what am I here for? It makes everything I do pointless. So therefore, I find myself kind of at a crossroads when it comes to my career. And it's not like there's a whole lot of job opportunities for this position out in this area. And I want to stay in this area because I love my town and I love my community. So I've been doing a lot of thinking and I feel pulled in the direction that if my employer now moves in a direction that I feel is against the values that they are supposed to be standing for. And if we cannot put anything in place to try at least to compete with the other organization that can keep people in the role, that can keep people happy, that can keep me happy and satisfied, then I don't really have a choice but to go to the other side. And yes, I would lose my creative control. That light just burned out, so we'll see how the rest of this video goes. Yes, I would lose a lot of creative control over what I do on a daily basis, and that sucks because that means so much to me. But if I go with this other position, I would potentially be working from home 24-7. I would be working on a per-project basis, which would give me more time to do things like this or to do streaming. And there I can get my creative outlet. So 
I don't know how everything's gonna go. It's really kind of up in the air and it's kind of stressful, but I'm excited to see where my future might go. So regardless of the stress, regardless of some of the negatives that go with it, I'm trying to stay pretty positive and, and I feel pretty good about things right now as knowing that I have choices to make, knowing that I have plans in place depending on how things go. So just everybody still out there watching this video, I just want to send some positive vibes out there and go share those positive vibes. Share those positive vibes right now. Thanks again guys for watching this video and I'll catch you next time.